What's good with your boy DJ Benny Blaze? We got Jared in the background and we got my dude Trap right here. Okay, you already know it's the Know the Trap podcast. We in the building. My pod brother right here. We, me and Jared just hit his pod the other day. It was dope. In the hood. I got some nice Spanish food out there. Delicious. Shout out to the store across the street, the grocery store that doesn't have Facebook or Instagram. What did you get? What did you food. get when you went to the I had like store? A, I had like a $4 plate that was delicious. For four dollars. For four dollars. I asked if they had Instagram and Facebook. They had neither. I would have promoted the hell out of it, so I told them to get it. And then I'll come back. So tell. Let's talk about it. Let's tell you a story. Where did you grow up? What part of Providence? Man, I grew up on the south side to the west end to Hartford Projects, where I was born and bred. Bred. You know what I mean? But I, I represent the whole city. You know what I'm saying? Because I got. I got family that lives on all sides of the city. So I don't I don't claim a side of town or again in my life. You're better off not. You're better off just repping the whole entire city. The whole city. The man. whole prime city. You know, man. I love people from every side of the town, so being claiming one side of the city is rude. Lim- limited. You know it's, what I'm yeah. saying? It, yes, it does it's limit. It limits limit you, yeah. You know yeah, there's really no point. You know that. What what so mean, why don't you show, tell the people where your podcast is just so they can check it out also. Okay, you can find me on YouTube. You can go to the No Longer Track Podcast on YouTube. You can find me, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit Make that sure share you subscribe. Button. We got to get this guy monetized. I got to get monetized. We're trying to get monetized together. Oh, yeah, my podcast. Trying to, get, my trying to get that money. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, all that. He gets a little wild sometimes. He's a little wild on WBRU yesterday. You want to talk about that, that a little bit? Oh, no, that was, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know what happens, Ben? Brothers clash sometimes. Yeah. And that's how me and my community is. Yeah. Yo, we, we, I, we got a love-hate relationship, but we all love. We've all got the same goal. Our same goal is the same thing. So sometimes men get out of the table when we, and we bang our chest. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what happens. Yeah. And that's what happens in my community. Yeah. That's what happens with me and my brothers and my sisters. Sometimes we bang our chest and we bump heads. Now let's. So for the people that don't know, like the longer trap, that's basically based off that you were, you did a good amount of time. I was actually in there with you. I, I don't know if we met in there, but we know some of the same people. Same people. Yes, we asked yeah. me. They said you're a good dude. A little Thank wild, you. I appreciate wild, it. A... So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you where how the no longer trap the no longer trap came up. The no longer trap came up when I was in prison. I wrote a book, and it was called No Longer Trap. Really? Yeah. What a book. Shout out to everybody that's wrote my, read my book. Damn. That's where was it at? Is it on Amazon? Nah, I never posted. Okay. And there was personal reasons why I never posted it, but I never posted it. Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, Yo, I'm gonna do something in the name of my book that I'm never gonna post probably, I'm gonna name my podcast after No Longer Track. How long you been doing it for? I've been podcasting, you believe it or not, I've been podcasting longer than anybody in the city. What, what year? 2009. Get out of here. Yes. Before. Before everybody, shout out to On Top, Greg Washington, my cousin, we was the first ones to stop podcasting so in this So it must have been a different platform then, right? Nah, we was doing it in his basement. What we was doing is I still got videos of it. We was doing it in his basement. He was a DJ. I was just coming home from prison. You know understand what I'm saying? And we was just in there. We had a lot of viewers. We was just in there every, we used to go in there every made, couple made days. DVDs? Huh? Make DVDs? Nah, we didn't, we, we was just having fun. Oh, okay, okay. See, when podcasting, we thought we was just, I was having fun, Greg was having fun, Dewan, Easy, all the guys that, shout out to all my Chad Brown brothers, you know what I'm saying? Shout we was just, Brown. we was just having, we was just having fun. We wasn't thinking about podcasting and, and endorsements and we were, if we was thinking like that right back then, we'd be, be rich right now. You would be rich right now. 2009. Everybody that's been following me since 2009, they know that I'm not capping. Now, what what year did you did you get out? In 2009. Oh wow, that was, the, that was the biggest year that music changed. I went See, in that I went in that year. Oh, maybe I didn't meet you in that. I no, went in in 2009. I came home in 2009 and I went back in 2009. Okay, I think I think I did meet you. <laughs> but yo, that's when 50, yo. 50 Cent was still shout out 50 Cent, man. 50 Cent was still number one, but Drake was like moving in with that song Successful. And then I come home from yeah. jail yes. um, like yes, 10 years ago or whatever, All and Drake, Drake is number one and, and 50's doing movies and TV shows 
and huge shout out to him still, man. But um, yeah, no, music changed. Music changed, changed man. right? Definitely changed, man. Right? And, and when I came home from prison, the world changed. Man. Yeah. You've been in there for a long time. You know how the world five changed. And a half so years in when I came home, when I came home, the world has changed. So I didn't know nothing about about technology, all of that. I didn't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, you know, you know, you know who was um, big on that was um, Wallow. He did the from uh, Gillian Wallow. Yes. yes. Shout the, out to my boy Wallow, man. Future. Hey man, I want to say man, I want to send my condolences to Gillian and his family, man, from me and Benny Blaze, man. Absolutely. We want to send y'all condolences, man, because losing a loved one is never, it's never easy. No, no, especially it's his, his son, right? Mm -hmm. Oh hell, no. yeah, no, big, big rest in peace to his kid, man, and that, yeah, that's a, that's a shitty situation, man. Let's talk about um, what you've done in the community since you've been home to make some changes out there. Let's talk about that. Okay, so, so my, my, me and my brother's objective when we came home was to bring peace. That's our whole objective. Yeah. To bring peace. We, all of this other, I don't know, I still don't know how to write a grant. I don't know how to do this. I, I wasn't educated on it. I, I don't know how to do it. All I know how to do is talk to my brothers and tell them what not to do and what's going to happen if they do it. Yeah, you kid, kids mostly, right? Yes. Yeah. And I told grown adult too. Yeah, yeah, me too. You understand what I'm saying? Them, it's not working. It's, not working. Yeah. it's just that with a grown adult, I won't, I, I won't go as far as I go with a child. Yeah. If I see a teenager getting ready to make a dumb decision, I'm going to go with my lengths to make sure he don't end up in a prison cell or in a box. So, so. But if it's a grown man, yeah. so many stories with Vinny when I was younger, and Vinny got stories with me, Vinny will tell you I'm a thief. You know why Vinny will tell you I'm a thief? Because I robbed him. We broke in his car. That's a, that's a good reason. Yeah, we broke in his car. He said, you, that's yo, a pretty he, legit yo, reason yo, to yo we it. broke in his car, and he, he, he made us pay for that for years until I grew up. It's Silver Lake. Are you cool with him now, though? Oh, Vinny's my guy. Yeah, yeah. Vinny's a great dude, man. Yeah, Shout out to Vinny's guy. Man, man. We're doing a big fight October 8th at the West Warwick Civic Center. You're going to be there. I'm going to be there. You know? And so we need people to do call-out videos. You got anyone you want to call? You can call them out right now. I can call them out. Yeah. Go do it right now. All right. Yo, he said I can call out anybody, anybody I want in this city. Absolutely. I can call out anybody I want in this city to a fight. Go ahead. Do it. Who do you got? I'm calling out Denise Hazard right now to a fight. Who's that? My mother. Oh, I'm, I'm calling my mother out. Ma, I want to go head out with you. Right. I'm bro for it all. No, no, the call out. Oh, it's the call out. Yeah, I, yeah. I keep thinking it's the bro for it all. I'm sorry, it's the call out. Mother, let's get it on, Ma. I really want to fight my mother. We are laughing and shit. <laughs> that's it. That's how. That's how. That's how these kind of people think. <laughs> Who's these kind of people? White people. Hey, you know listen. Black people. I do not participate. We'll fight we'll I fight. do not participate in any white people shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Caucasian. Caucasian. I don't do no white people bullshit. Caucasian. Okay. I am. Caucasian. I am good in the hood. Yes, he is. I'm. The, I'm in the hood all the time. Who's, yes, who's in the hood this morning? Franchise and all them. Shout out to DJ Shout Franchise. Out to DJ Franchise, my guy. Shout out that's to my guy Miss, right Miss Rody. That's Shout out name, to right? Miss Rody. Yes. She's Shout out to Miss Rody. That's, that's my sister right there. She's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. That's my sister. Beautiful girl. Yes, she is. Shout out to DJ Boom, who was on that channel absolutely. too. Absolutely. Shout out to Chip. Shout out to uh, Big Haiti. Shout out to Wop Star. Wop Star. E Class. Oh, yeah, e -class. Shout, Shout out to all the local rappers. And a big shout out to my dude Quarters Nikki also. Make sure you follow all these dudes on IG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. You rap too? I do. Yeah. I yeah. I got some videos that yeah, are gonna You really rap? Yeah. Are you trash? No, I'm not trash. No, I was on the radio. I had a song called We Run Rhode Island that um. Alright, let me hear something right now. Oh man. Ah! Look at him. You know how I get down on a little longer yeah. time, man. Uh, let me hear some. Now just let me hear some. I, yeah, just drop some. A rapper's gonna drop All right, some. Here so. we go. I used to say, uh, what you see is what you get. This ain't just a knack, but hustle night. Selling drugs, dreaming of, bust the raps. But it's true what they say. Crime pains, I'm one for selling weed to coke. Yeah, I gave myself a raise if these lines are real. Ain't nothing forged. I try to sell more blow than Boston George. Okay. And then okay. that, that pissed okay. off that pissed okay. off the police. That's the only okay. problem. Okay. And, then I, and then I went to jail and they quoted the lyrics to me. 
when I turned myself in with my lawyer, and, and then it, it was good. But yeah, I had that song on the radio. We run Rhode Island. DJ oh. Lefty was spinning it. Shout out to DJ Lefty, shout my out, guy. Major shout out to DJ Lefty. Major man. shout out to DJ. I mean, yo, Cadillac, me Cadillac Jack too. He used to bump my shit. Too, let man. me tell you something. Shout out to all my DJs in my city. Me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all my DJs, because I love all of them. What about I you? Got, you used I got to hate I got I got You used to rap? Me. Yeah, I used to rap. Then, okay, now we got to hear something from you. I uh, check my rap out. Yeah, boy. Oh. All right, shout out to all my sponsors. First up, we got Aftermath Alternatives. They have all your vaping needs covered. They have all disposable vapes on the market. They have hundreds of flavors, coils, and tons of CBD products. They're on Facebook and IG. They're at 735 Park Ave in Cranston, Rhode Island. Next up, it's actually in the same location, but this is a sneaker spot. Dirty Laces is one of the biggest sneaker resale shops in Rhode Island where you can buy, sell, and trade every day. They have over a thousand pairs for you to choose from, and they're on Facebook and IG. The IG is Dirty underscore laces and they're also at 735 park ave in cranston Rhode Island. last but not least we got legendary boxing at 2051 smith street north providence my dude jared tillithas is one of Rhode Island's best trainers go do some one-on-one -on -one sessions with him he will have you right to fight he's on facebook ig under legendary boxing Rhode Island and also TikTok. Follow all his pages and make sure you go see him to train and tell him Benny Blade sent you. I mean, Trap is a really dope name to rap, to be honest with you. Does anyone have that name yet? All right, I'm gonna I'm I'm sing that. Right. All right, we gotta hear a 16. All right. Your whole, your whole joint is watching, so we all wanna all hear right. a 16. If you wanna hear a 16, hit the like button right now, the share, do all that shit. If you wanna hear a 16 from this guy right now. I, I gave you an eight, but he's gotta give us a 16. Guys, so this is rhyme I wrote about my brother and about it, but this is, this is, I, I might mess up. I ain't, I ain't said the rap in a long time. I'm gonna give you a clip something, all right? Hey, yo, I didn't understand why I got locked at first, but then I got these visions of my man in the hearse. Sometimes I visualize of his dark brown eyes, burn a stash in the bushes, yo, for him and be wise. I think back, and I wonder why it happened. I can't understand why my nigga wasn't packing up. I can't read the rest. That was good. I can't remember the Send rest. the fire emoji if you like right. that. Send the that fire in the 100 for no me and him rapping. Nigga be wise. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. oh, they, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they liking it. They you liking it. But listen, I wrote that rhyme when I was in segregation. When I first went to jail, I was in so much pain and agony. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't remember the rhyme. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you oh, from what, from what happened, what you're talking about. Yeah, because everything I ever wrote, everything I ever wrote a rap about is something that I really had in my life. Yeah, and that's anybody true. that's ever heard that rap, they're going to say, wow, I remember that, I remember that, I remember yeah. that. You understand what I'm saying? See, so that was my problem. I rapped about everything I was doing. I was selling cocaine at the time, and I rapped about where, I, like, my whip. I rapped about the gold chains, the, the vacations, and then the cops were prepared to use it as evidence against me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, so that's the problem. Getting back to a question that you asked me. What do you got? You asked me about what I do for the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them, wanna, tell them what you do. I don't want to skip that because I got a lot going on right now, especially for the city, for my city. Can we talk about we, the, the camping trip, you know? I got, I, we have a camping trip. I, oh, I, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and my city mm -hmm. have a camping trip going on. Mm -hmm. That's for everybody, children, families. That's for my city, for all sides of town. You can come out here with your family. You don't need nothing. All you got to do is come out there and be willing to just have a smile every day. That's all we want, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that me and my community and my community leaders, we know that unifying us makes us stronger than anybody. Absolutely. So that's what we are trying to do. That's our main goal and that's our only goal. You understand what I'm saying? So any friction anybody ever seen, it's only us trying to fix, put a puzzle together. You understand what I'm saying? It's never a puzzle that's dissembling. It's a puzzle that's just you want to shout together. out the sponsors that you had on a part of that that made or help make it happen. Oh man, I have so much, man. Shout out to 148. Shout out to Passions Lounge. Shout out to JL. Shout yo, I got yo. I have so many people in my city. Let me just put it this way: my whole city made this happen. All right, yeah. my whole city, the whole city of Providence, all my, you know, I got people that cash at me money just because they, just because they love what I'm doing. Yeah. So I can't, I individually, when you see our hoodies come out and our t-shirts for the camping trip, then you'll see our, our sponsors. sponsors but right, right now, there's a lot of sponsors. My, I'm sponsored by my whole city. I can't keep naming all people. I'm sponsored by everybody. Yeah. 
Why is I done seen everybody where they gave me ten dollars? Now when it, what is it? When does it happen? This might come out after, but when when does it happen? And when's the next thing you're doing too? It's happening uh, this Thursday, uh, uh, the twenty seventh so and thirtieth. Right now, but yeah, I'm, they're seeing it right now on yep. mine. But yours is uh, will be. I don't know when you're. It'll be out. It'll be out soon. Yeah. You know what I'm then we have uh, 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 an all side of town cookout. That's uh, what's assembled what's by the Robert King and uh, Damon Howell. Shout out to my brothers. What's the date on that? Oh, that's uh, August 6th. Okay, cool. So August 6th. August 6th. Now, where is that going to be? It's going to be in Lincoln Woods. Can the, can the public just come to that? Everybody. This is this is welcome. And hey, yo, one thing about this cookout, this cookout is welcome to everybody in my city. Okay. You can bring your grandmother. Every, we're gonna, I'm going to make your grandmother laugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there with your grandmother and I'm gonna make I wanna know about her and your grandfather. Now is it does it cost money to people going? No, or? it don't oh. cost nothing. Come out here, eat, enjoy the day for free. You can't argue with that, you know? You understand what I'm saying? This is So there's see, no this, reason not to go. Nah, there's no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? And this is for every ethnicity, this is for everybody. You know what I'm saying? This is for everybody. I welcome you to come out. I, I wanna see you guys there. Okay. You know, Jared comes every year. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this this year I want to see you. I'll you know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm gonna be a number one supporter. Yeah. You know, they're no longer trapped. When you got something going on for the kids, trap. Yeah, no, I want. I, want. I got something going on. I need you to be there. I yeah. got an event. Just like you asked me to be here tonight, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be there for your event. Oh. And it's not. See, people don't understand, right? It's not about just giving something. You don't know, just giving your time saying trap. Can I come with you, man? I want to come help you set the tents up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Trap, I want to come with you, man, to some one of these kids' house that you're looking for that's been missing, he's been acting up. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, Trap, I got a couple tickets to a, to a Celtics game, man. I know you got know some good kids that deserve them in your neighborhood. Yeah. Yo, yo, Trap, I got yo, I got a free, yo, I, I got something. It don't, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? It's about giving back and, and, and um, yeah, paying it forward. See, because I believe in, yo, I talk to my brother, man. Shout out to K9, man. I talked to my brother tonight, and my brother told me, he said, yo, he said, yo, you ain't got to worry about nothing, bro. I was a, he said, I was a medium bone. He said, a lot got you. He used, to go you know and, he used to go in the yard and put up, like, the, the biggest. Monster. The biggest set of weights with yeah. the chains. With Monster, the chains? yeah, yeah, the, the chains on him. Yeah, the chains on him. Yep. Oh, my God, but yeah. That to say that, what I was saying yard. was to get encouraged by the people that I got encouraged from to, to, to get, keep me to move on no matter what comes in front of me, because sometimes things come in front of you that I, I'm, I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? And one thing that I've learned, that I have to learn how to communicate better. Because when me not learning how to communicate with my with my peers can, can, can snowball effect into other things. Because communication is everything. It's everything in relationships, but it's everything in, with, when you're dealing with your peers no. too. Because we can have a miscommunication just because I didn't communicate. Yeah. We can have a falling out just because the communication yeah. level was off. People you understand are, what I'm trying to say? People are real bad at communication. Now, let me ask you a question. No, I'm real bad at communication. You haven't, you couldn't, all right. Maybe. You understand what I'm saying? So that's something about that I got. That I had to learn, you know what I'm saying? When you learn that, I, when you had to see, and I had to learn from the things that I've been going through in my past, yeah. and these, just recently, that I had to learn that I got to learn how to communicate. I got to learn how to reach out for help. No. Because like I said on my podcast, there's a difference between begging and asking for help. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. If you could talk to your younger self before you ever went away, what advice would you give your younger self to like, like not go through everything you went through? What I would tell my younger self, what I would tell my younger self is to take everything for face value. When somebody shows me what they are, see I let too many people in my life that burnt me twice. That burnt me three times. That burnt me four times. If I was young, if I, my younger self, I would say, yo, I, I would go all the way back to when I got burnt when I was a kid. Younger for my for my younger friends that ended up burning me when I was older. You understand what I'm saying? I would have known never to deal with them. You understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes people got put in my life to destroy my life, but I did, it didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's real shit, man. Um... You want so do you want to tell everyone where to follow you at? Oh, you can follow me on on Facebook. I'm on Facebook at Adrian Has It. You know what I'm saying? If you can follow me on YouTube, at, um, yeah, get get this guy's YouTube numbers up. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube. Okay, check me out.
And shout out to all my DJs. Shout out to DJ Chop Stewie. You know what I'm saying? If you coming down, you ain't got nothing to do on Fridays. Danny Sores, you're cool with him, right? Of course, man. Danny shout out to, shout out to Danny Sores. Shout out to Danny Sores, man. Of course, that's my brother. That shout out to Big Den. You understand what I'm saying? But if you're coming down, you ain't got nothing to do. Come on down to 148 on Fridays. Check out DJ Chop Stewie, the hottest DJ in the city. Well, one of them. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> one of them. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Take that one of them. Make, this is, you know what I'm make sure you sub to all this. Uh, tell them your Instagram too. Oh, my Instagram. You can go on Instagram. I'm no longer trap podcast. Go on there. Follow me. Check me out. You can check me out on every morning. I'm on at 8 o'clock in the morning. Every morning, faithfully. I try to make it faithful for you people. Try to give you guys something to laugh about. Something to talk about. Something to think about. That's what my podcast is. My podcast is for, for my community. My podcast is for my city. I want to talk about every day. things every day. You understand what? what I'm saying? Every day. See, a lot of podcasters ain't doing this every day. I'm the only podcast in the world. Right. In the world. That goes every day. Every day in the world. That goes every day with content. You understand what I'm saying? So, so I, I just wanna, I just want people to understand that. You, and then I say eight o'clock in the morning. No. So get any of these guys up. You know what I'm saying? And a shout out to all my podcasters. I'm not throwing no shade at nobody because I love all my podcasts and brothers. I get advice from you guys. I get, you know what I'm saying? It's especially, but he reached out to me. You know what I'm saying? Look at another connection I done made. You know what I'm saying? For me and the No Longer Trap Podcast team and everybody that I'm working with. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. These are connections that we need. You understand what I'm saying? And shout out to Jared Tillon Ass. Shout gym, out to JT. Who's gym we're at right now. This is where we're going to be doing the podcast from now on. Make sure you follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Legendary tic Boxing. TikTok, all that. I'll put all his uh, links in there. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Make sure you support everything he's doing, Prod City. He's doing a lot of stuff for the city and the state of Rhode Island. Hey, yo, now shout out to everybody that tuned in, man. Yeah, everybody right here. check out this guy's podcast. Yeah. If you saw my podcast, I want you to check him out. If he's capping, let me know he's capping. Oh you understand what I'm saying? No, no, because that's how I keep it real. I know you're not capping. Mm -hmm. But that's how my, my pop, see, my, my my crowd, they like realness, man. Yeah. That's where just be yourself. I am myself. That, and I know. That's why I'm here. That's why if you wasn't yourself, that's I wouldn't cool. be here with you. Nah, you he can't, he can't, he showed up, man. You know he showed up. And he showed up. And he showed up, he showed up a little early, too. And someone keeps going. Yo, that's all right. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. Hey, yo, everybody that taught me to show up early, and I appreciate you. You hear what he said? They taught me that. That's what I learned from my, my big brothers, my big sisters, yo, be on time. Especially when I, you get invited to something. Absolutely. So I'm trying to show them off right now. This is I me, mean, this is my community. Share this because I need y'all to subscribe to my brother's channel. You understand what I'm saying? Benny, yeah, at Benny up. Blades on YouTube. Where you gonna at? Go on yes, this. tell at, my at, at Benny Blades on YouTube, Benny Blades on Facebook. There's a couple of them. Just look for the one that's more active. And then at DJ Benny Blades on Instagram. Uh, there's one on TikTok too. Just, yeah, he at all every, He got all of them. He's gonna get put me on to all of them because I don't know how to get on all of them. And we're gonna get on, I'm gonna get on all of them. I'm gonna get on all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a TikToker. I'm gonna be a TikToker. <laughs> that's, where, that's where, yeah, that's where everyone's at. Oh, that's where everybody's TikTok, at. TikTok, yeah. Yo, I want to just say thank you to you for inviting me, man. Absolutely. Thank you to my, to my, to my faithful, faithful, faithful people that watch the No Longer Trap podcast. Yeah, shout out to everybody in Providence. We're gonna be on TV October eighth, so we want you to show up and show out. Put on your gold, your gold chains, ladies. Dress up as sexy as possible, cause we're gonna be on TV. Okay, we gotta make Rhode Island look good. We gotta show everyone how we do it, the whole world. Okay, I'm gonna make my TV debut. There you go, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to me. I'm gonna make my TV debut. <laughs> you understand? What I'm saying I'm gonna be the flyest mother. Are you, are you suiting up? Huh? Are you gonna suit up? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go to my podcast. I'm gonna see what my podcast wants me. Yeah. Super if my podcast tells me trap going in and suit up, that's what I'm doing. I, well, I that's my work. I'm gonna have to suit up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm my podcast to tells to me up. to suit up, and Billy and my big brothers tell me trap going in, put some flats on, and show you guys what's going on. Yeah. That's what I gotta do for my city. I gotta right. show what's going on. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna sign off. We're gonna boy DJ Benny Blaze, my boy Trap right here. Make sure you follow him everywhere we said. Boy, DJ Benny Blades, Trap. You already know the No Longer Trap Podcast. Check me out. Shout out to Fit First, my number one sponsor. Shout out to my boy Joe Leezy, man. If you ain't went to Fit First and got your football taken care, I don't know what's going on with you, baby. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. All right, we're out of here. We out of here.